Hi everyone! I want to talk to you about some of my favorite books that I have found for the month of February. As a speech language pathologist in San Diego, I tend to do themes every month, and so February is all around love. So here's my first book, I Rough You, and I'm going to show you these books. You can use the links below to order them online on Amazon. Um, this one, I Rough You, is just a cute one to talk about how the puppy loves um, the morning when the sun is shining bright and the moon lights at night, so some good opposites. Um, I love your ears and your nose, some body parts. I love your little fingers and tiny toes, more body parts, everything you do. I love you forever. I love you. Rough you. <laughs> I love you. And it's just a really sweet way to talk to your child about how much you love them. You love everything about them all the time. So perfect for just nighttime bed story or something like that. Here's my second favorite, Huggy Kissy. It's real simple, not a lot of words, and um, just a real simple image here too. Tuggy, tuggy, see the baby's tugging on there. Huggy, huggy with a question mark. Great for teaching the child how to ask for a hug. Squeeze, squeeze, don't stop, please. Mommy kisses on my toesies, daddy kisses on my tummy, more body parts, love it. They both want to eat me up, I'm so yummy, yummy. I kiss you when I cry, a hug to say goodbye. I don't want this hug to end, now I have my friend. Kitty's hug, and doggy's hug, and grandma and grandpa, how sweet, and the blankie, and the fish, and auntie and uncle, everything. It goes over it. Fit. Wow! I didn't see this page. Oh, more huggies and kisses, different kinds of kisses. An Eskimo kiss, blowing a kiss, a boo-boo kiss, things like that. Oh, really sweet, really simple language to use with, with a toddler who you're teaching new words to. Sweet! I'll show you three more. So we'll show, I'll show you five total that I really love for this month. Where is Baby's Valentine's? I actually love all of Karen Katz's Lift the Flap book. She's got an entire series and I use pretty much every month one of her books that goes along with whatever theme I'm doing. So Baby's looking for her special Valentine. Is it behind the chair? So we've got some prepositions behind. Mm, no, then we can practice yes and no, really um, accentuating the head nod and the head shake, okay? Um, is it under the blanket? Let's check. No, it's not. Shake your head. And then we go through all the places until, is it in baby's room? Yes, there's the valentine. Yes, can you show me? Yes, nod your head. Yes, good nodding. So it's actually really great. I do that book once a month. Um, I mean, I do one of her books every month. <laughs> and so we're working on the yes, the no. Lots of toddlers learn to say no or uh-uh. But saying yes, I don't always learn that one quite as quickly, so I like to practice that as well. Now, I will love you forever. Oh, this one is bilingual, Spanish and English. Really sweet. I've worked with a lot of kids in the past trying to do bilingual therapy, and I always utilize the parents' help because they're the native speakers and I am not. So I might read the English and then have the mom or dad right next to me and then read the Spanish translation because I know that my accent is not going to be quite right. Uh, and then the child's getting direct translation right after each other. Always good to have a pause in between. So if I read, I knew I would love you forever in English, there needs to be a little bit of a pause before mommy reads the Spanish translation because we need to give the child a little bit of time to, to soak in the English and then listen and soak in the Spanish too. So this goes through just all the things that um, a mommy and a daddy, any parents, any loved ones, caregivers would love about a child and love them forever. Super recommend that. One more I will show you. Happy Valentine's Day mouse. You probably recognize this mouse from other books. He's been one of my favorite characters as I grew up and then became a teacher and a speech language pathologist. And so this one's for a little bit older children, I'd say. I mean, two-year-olds would still enjoy it, but it'd be more of just a listening book. You could talk to them, where's the dog? Oh, I see the dog, there he is. He loves Bunny because she's the best at hide and seek. Where's Bunny? Do you see Bunny? I see some ears over there, is that Bunny? 
So really you can make this book conversational because there's a lot going on in the pictures. You've got different emotions, facial expressions. Ah, oh, look at how excited he is. He's excited. So I like that one because it's more conversational. We can talk about what's happening in the pictures. Some of the other ones are so simple that we're just, you know, stick into what the writing on the book may be. But if you see my video on how to read a book to toddlers, then you know that I am much more of a fan of talking about what you see in the pictures than reading the text. However, like I showed you in this book, oh my gosh, easy. We don't even have to think about it. Tuggy, tuggy. The baby's tugging on dad's legs. Thanks for listening. You can get all these books by clicking the link below. I hope that you enjoy them and read some of these to your child during the month of February and beyond. Subscribe so that you can see new videos from me every week. Thanks. Bye-bye.